Welcome back to We Sail. If you missed last week's episode, here's a quick recap. We made it back to beautiful Morea, where we planned to reprovision up for our next leg of our journey. But instead, right. found ourselves without a dinghy so, motor. The normal rattling that we've been hearing yes. got significantly worse. Like, just, like, as if it was like a coin, you know, just yeah, yeah, yeah. turned yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what she heard. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and get alerts for new episodes every Wednesday. Enjoy the episode. Well, now that we know what it is, I certainly feel a lot better. Um, not too expensive, most likely available here. And even if it isn't here, we can get it here pretty easy because these aren't huge, huge parts, so they could actually be sent DHL pretty quickly and cheaply. We're so, so we're much talking better about better off being here, oh. having this happen here and now before we head out to the two motos, which are much more remote. That what a blessing this has really been in and disguise. Again, the dinghy is our vehicle. Like yeah. it is our car to and from shore. Uh -huh. It allows us to do so much, and without having that in those islands, no way. No. God, that would be a pain. Mm -hmm. We really need it. So that's what we're going to work on over the next little bit. So two motos are going to wait again. Yep, for at least <laughs> a few days, a week. So what wow. I got to do now, I got to drop this whole lower unit. So I can separate it there, take that off. I can get to all these gears and separate everything. It's not easy, but with enough YouTube videos, we'll get it done. <laughs> <laughs> so now I got to get the rest of this apart somehow. YouTube, here I come. Seen better days. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay. I figured out what we need, and we're gonna look into getting it ordered tomorrow and having it shipped here. So I don't know. It should be a couple weeks, though. I think is what we're really looking at because even if it, I do. There is a chance that they have it here, which we'll pay triple for. And right now we're looking at about 300 bucks. So this is gonna be somewhere north of 500, I guarantee you that. If they have everything we need here, there's about a 50-50 chance that they will. And if they don't, we'll order it in and it'll be a couple weeks, at least a couple weeks because it'll take a week to ship and at least a week to go through customs. So that's what we're dealing with. Big bummer. Also side note, how weird does the dinghy look with no motor on it? Is it just me? Yeah. No, no it looks super I, weird. It does look weird. We've never seen it without the dinghy motor on it. We've never taken it off. We need the power. <laughs> yeah, that's so weird. It's certainly going to be a lot easier to lift. Whew. This is going to be, life has just been slowed down. A lot more. Maybe this is like a universal sign, sign? for you. I don't know. I real, thought I thought we were going pretty slow as it is. We do not move fast at all. When we get a when we get a moto scoot, then we go like 50, and that's huge. 
So, and that happens like what, once a month. So life has certainly already been slowed down a lot. Well, there could be worse places to be yeah, that, stuck in. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, look at the sunset. I do love it here. Fantastic. Oh, look at that. That's incredible. I just love the way the light hits the mountains. Worst places to be. So way worse places that this could have happened. This was a blessing in disguise that it happened here. All right, let's get in. Let's take a dip. I need to do this. I'll put things away and we'll take a dip. Good idea. Okay. Okay, Maruru. Bon weekend. Bon weekend. No. no. <laughs> What's the plan now? Punt. So you've called three different places? Five. Five? It's my fifth call. Now what? We order from the States and figure out how to get it down here in a couple weeks. This meant we had to figure out what our next best option would be. There is no Amazon priming this one, and placing the order to be shipped by an international courier could honestly take weeks. Just prolonging our time here means missing out on time in the Tuamotos before we head up to the Marquesas. And although we have all the time in the world, realistically, we really wanted to get this sorted out just as quick as possible. The dinghy is our car. It's our means of getting to and from land to restock up on food supplies and explore inland, and so on. It's our most used piece of equipment, and now we were without it. All right, update. Good news. <laughs> good news, well, bad news, good news sort of situation. This morning, we called around to the local shops here in Tahiti, and unfortunately, no one has the part. Not surprisingly. <laughs> so, um, luckily, good news for us, um, I had posted a story about this whole situation. Should be. Uh, that thing? Yeah, that should be straight. That should be straight. Oh. That's yeah. not good. That is not good. Chunks I can hear of metal? Chunks. Oh, yeah. And the gear, the gears are messed up. <laughs> yeah. So that's the noise that I was hearing? That is the noise that we were hearing, <laughs> without oh. a doubt. Okay. Yep. And our friends have a sailboat here in Tahiti, happen to be back in the States at the moment, visiting yeah, family and friends. Know. And they said they'll be coming back in 10 days. So whatever it is that we need, get it ordered, sent to them, and they will bring it back with them. Yeah. So thank you so much, Lance and Amy. You guys are absolute lifesavers. Um, so yeah, we are without a dinghy motor for 10 days. There's worse things. Yeah, there's worse things. What are we gonna Being do? behind in schedule is a little bit, but we're there's in a, a beautiful spot. There's a plus. I did a major provisioning shop. Oh yeah, we have plenty <laughs> of food. So we have everything we have that we need. Going anywhere. But if we need to get to shore, it's just gonna be a long row. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And probably Warren will stay busy with a lot of projects, I'm guessing. That's the plan. I can think of a couple other things too. Yeah? Well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> she's seen better days. Yeah. Yeah. Just right now. Mm. Day one of our marooning. <laughs> and we haven't killed each other. Oh. 
We survived day one of being stuck on the boat. Marooned in Marea. Marooned in Marea. I think secretly, <laughs> we both wanted that to happen. Or not so secretly, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, this really feels like home for sure. God, it's just gorgeous here. It really isn't much of a secret how much we truly love this island and how much we both wanted to come back here. There is something so captivating about this island and a real sense of home that saying we were stuck here just isn't exactly how we felt. But honestly, there really could be worse places to be temporarily held up in. First I was wondering what we were going to do for 10 days <laughs> and now it's like <laughs> look into the water. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to just stare off the back of the boat for 10 days. Seriously, I can do this all oh. day. looking right amazing now. here. Thanks, Maria, for taking such good care of us.
Well, I thought since I have absolutely plenty of time now <laughs> that I would go ahead and do some of the jobs that I've been putting off on this. Uh, work on the carburetor a little bit, check the fuel pump, change the oil, do a bunch of things. Um, you know, the only thing I'm worried about now is that this postpones our trip to the two motos in the Marquesas and we were already a little bit behind because um, we waited for so long to catch this window to get here and there's not there haven't been a lot of opportunities to sail northeast you know that's predominantly where the wind comes out of at least the east so we're gonna have to really fight we have two months two months to get up to the Marquesas I know that sounds like a lot but you guys know that two months can go by in a in a day so it's gonna be a fight we got 800 miles to go so we're gonna have to take every opportunity that we get every every wind that comes out of the north a little bit or every wind that comes out of the south a little bit we're gonna have to take that and boogie so that's my only concern but we'll have plenty of work to do on the boat and we'll get there I'm telling you, I got way too much time on my hands. Um, starting to get into things, but that's all right. What else am I going to do? Um, this was a chain flaker. I don't know if you guys remember. This goes way, way back. Um, it actually did its job pretty well, except that it would strip out. It never really lasted that long. Um, so I'm going to rebuild it. I'm going to use a different material. It's a much harder plywood and uh, make it a little bit simpler. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to give it one more shot. I'm also going to integrate some... This is a cut out piece of uh, fiberglass that's extremely hard and tough, so I'm gonna kind of layer it. And between the harder plywood and that uh, fiberglass sheet, it should, it should work. I don't know, we're gonna try. That's all you can do. But yeah, help Erica out a little bit because it's always a pain in the butt bringing the chain up and having to flake it at the same time that she's watching it. And so hopefully this will work. All right, well, I got, I got the pieces cut. We're gonna do one plywood and two of the fiberglass. So sandwich it together just like that. It's way simpler and hopefully it has the same, uh, same effect but just lasts longer, you know? So I'm just gonna screw these together, slap a little bit of uh, epoxy on the edges just to protect the, the plywood so it doesn't get soaked with water and swell. Uh, and we'll give it a test to see how that works. I'm really really hopeful because the process on the old one worked perfectly but it just didn't hold up it just stripped out so this is going to be super strong and if this doesn't hold up then the next thing would be to make it out of metal and if that's the case i don't know if it should really be attached to the windlass so this is probably the last effort on this one babe well at least you're per persistent yeah <laughs> yeah round three really on this consistent but I'm consistent too. Yeah, persistent is better. Persistent is better. Okay. <laughs> All right, this thing is so beefy and I'm so stoked on it actually. This weighs about 10 pounds. It's just incredible how thick and dense the, the fiberglass is. And I love this stuff, um, except for the itch. If any of you have ever worked with it, you know that like, I'm pretty sweaty. And so when I'm cutting or drilling this stuff, I just end up wearing it and it just, it itches so bad. But I'm gonna get this thing installed. Actually, I'm gonna I'll seal it a little bit, do a little bit of sanding, seal it 
and then uh, get it installed and see how it works when we pull up anchor if we ever leave. <laughs> I don't know. We still have a few days waiting on all these parts. Another four days, something like that. So we'll see. Fingers crossed. One hour later. You know what? I can't wait. I really want to see how this thing's going, how it's going to go, and if I need to make any adjustments. So I got to get that motor, this motor going on this side. So uh, it's got power. That's the way these things are rigged. So get the motor going and give this thing a test. Okay, let's try it down. The chain can't be caught in there, that's good. Okay. And up. Okay, that's okay. It's not on final. It looks like it's gonna work though. Is it working? It's working. It just it fell off. Because I haven't I fixed it. Oh, it's not supposed to fall off, honey. I know, I know. <laughs> Uh, I know it's not supposed to fall off, but it, it hasn't been like final sanded or sealed or anything. I just want to make sure, I just want to make sure it works. We're going to call it the Nautilus. The Nautilus, that's the Nautilus chain. Yeah, because of the it's like a shape Nautilus. that you cut it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> The true test is when we bring in the majority of the chain where it starts to pile up. Yeah. Because the problem is like... It's when it's full. It's when it's full and so that thing has to be strong enough to push over that pile. Okay. Okay. Alright, not, not bad. Uh, it definitely needs a little adjustment, so get the saw back up. Make one little adjustment, and then I think I'm gonna glue it up, let it sit overnight, and we'll mount it tomorrow. I'll be honest with you, <laughs> a lot of my time is spent in the water scraping the hole. Wink, wink. I've actually been um, hanging out with all these rays and the spotted eagle rays. <laughs> so, yeah, I've been distracted. <laughs>
so something really funny just happened. Warren has asked me to come up front and film him installing the new chain winder thing and he wanted me to take a photo of him. So he's like holding it up on this little tiny suction piece and it falls in and it falls directly in through the trampoline. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, so that's exciting. Warren has worked on uh, round three of trying to get this thing to work properly, which is very exciting, but uh, gotta get it out of the water first. <laughs> Try this one again. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, you've uh, got it ready to install, yeah? My chain minder winder thing. I don't really know. I gotta work on that name a little bit. Yeah. Chain minder winder. Flopper, flipper. Yeah, no. Let's just. Okay. Cut! Alright, what other trouble can I get into now? Try not to drill any holes in the boat, Anybody who's interested, man, I just, I'm so stoked on the rainwater collection. We get so much water. We are in the wet season, so that helps, but we haven't run the water maker in months. We haven't needed to run the water maker in months. It's just, that's nuts. We do a rinse on it every once in a while, and I mean, we, we're just constantly at 100%. Well, we're not constantly at 100%, but we have plenty of water. Yeah, we're maintaining. So anybody that comes to visit, guess what? You get a shower. 45 seconds, baby. 45 seconds. Yeah, we're going to up you. 45 seconds. Second attempt. Take two. Yeah. Um, I learned, I don't know if I said this before, but I made the ginger beer last time, which is regular yeast. Apparently that's a no. So I no. got some champagne yeast from Josh and Rachel. So I'm going to make it again. And this time, if it's not good, I'm not going to waste putting rum in it first. We're going to try it. But I have a feeling I'm going to make it right. Good luck, hon. Wish you the best. Gotta fail a thousand times over. I hope not. I hope it's just well, that's once what or twice. Said, right? He actually failed 10,000 times. Well, 10,000 and one then. Here we go. Uh, this is insane. What are you losing your mind about? I'm losing it. We, I just saw 87. Come on, go back to 87. I We were making 87 amps. We're at 72. That's not bad. Wow. Wow. Good little, good little rain wash on those solar panels. Yep, cools them down. Oh my gosh, I saw an 84. Oh, that's incredible, yeah. It rained, cooled off the solar panels, which is when they're most efficient. They lose efficiency as they warm up. Wow, 87 amps, that's incredible. That's good, because we're quite low. It's been really rainy for the last couple days. We need it for sure. Man, it smells good in here. Thanks, honey. Good, I'm hungry. This is not for now, though. Damn it. Okay, so we have been out here officially about a week. Um, we've been keeping ourselves pretty busy, actually. And uh, without the dinghy, we've been able to just kind of sit on the boat and nail a bunch of projects that we've been holding off for so long. With us having friends and family visit, going and exploring the islands, we kind of get a little distracted and certain boat projects just don't get done. And so that's what we've been doing. We've been really, really busy doing that, um, keeping up with getting some video edits done. Warren's working on some pretty major projects that um, he has been wanting to get done for a while and cleaning the boat, stuff like that. And we've been trying to do it all without killing each other, which is nice. 
So yeah, we've just kind of been head down, working very hard at getting the boat in a really tip-top condition and video edits and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's been really enjoyable. Thanks everyone for watching this week's episode. Be sure to tune in next week when we finally receive our boat parts and get busy repairing the dinghy so we can get moving again. You made it this far in the episode, which means you really like us. So give us a thumbs up, comment, and maybe even consider becoming our Patreon. These videos are made possible by you. Thanks everyone, and see you next week. You're the best. All of my troubles right here. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome back. Really, really appreciate it. You guys rock.